Why are you not an Afro Nation? Hmm? Why are you not an Afro Nation? What's that? Niggas don't know about Afro Nation. Was that the um fucking what was that? Uh basically African yeah. Coachella. Okay, yeah. yeah that's yeah. going on right now. I was trying to go, but like they were trying to pay for my flight. So <laughs> it was just a, it was a depressing sentence. It was a depressing sentence. But what's up, y'all? It's your host, Sensa Yo. AK. Back in another episode. I'm not my co host, but I'm with Ugo. What's going on? Uh-huh. Or IG handle it's dot Ugo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My boy, how you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. I, how about you? I, I vibe. I vibe. I vibe. Okay, first, how'd you even get into TikTok before we really get into the nitty gritty and the jokes? Okay, okay. So, boom. First, I got into TikTok back in. 2018, I think, maybe. No, when COVID first started. Okay. That's when TikTok was popping off. And then, damn, I remember my first TikTok that popped off. I think it got 15K views. Okay. Just so like out of nowhere or? I don't know where. I don't know where. I don't know where. I used to do like little TikTok. I used to do it for fun. And then I did you one. You doing dances? Yeah. All right. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> yeah, chill I love out. to hear it. I love it. It wasn't serious. It wasn't no serious. Of course. You know of what I mean? Pure entertainment, pure fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I did one. It was just like. Do, 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 do. And then you kiss your twin. It was like a filter and it was like a kiss twin, whatever thing. Oh, okay. And then it got viral a little bit. I was like, okay, cool. And then ever since no, then, no, no, I've been chasing no, that, no. you know, little dopamine, little, let me get them viewers. Uh-huh. Like that. Oh, wait, so that, that was an active thing you were like thinking about while you were yeah. doing it? How did it feel when the first time you got so many like people engaging with yourself? Oh, I feel cocky as hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How so? Literally, when I came to school, because well, I think they started doing school again. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, what? My fr- I, I kept showing to my friends. They were like, yeah, look at my video. See this? 9K, 10K. It was still actively growing when I was showing them this stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like 9K, 10K, 15K. I was like, you get this? You get these numbers, bro? You don't get these numbers, bro. <laughs> You're not like me? No, literally. <laughs> I was telling them there's a difference between you and me, bro. 15K. I feel that. I feel that. You know what that is actually an interesting feeling? Because mm. in my whole uh, time doing content and stuff like that, I think I've had... Five videos get to a million views. Yay. And when I tell you, the feeling inside yeah. is like, see, I actually do this content yeah. creation shit for real. Yeah. Y'all don't do it like I do. Yeah. So, you know, I, I totally feel that. I totally feel that. So, what made you pivot towards the more com- comedy route? Um, what's it called? Yeah, my first videos. No, because I watched this one video and it was like, uh, if you think you could do something better than another person, you probably can, right? Mm-hmm. So, I saw this one funny video. I forgot what it was. Now, let's go back to the first viral TikTok I had, mm-hmm. right? The one that got really big. It got like 4.2 million views. It was, um, I like you. I don't give a... Uh, I am up. Yeah, yeah. And then I edited it so it would be like a drop-off to be dramatic because like the dude I was supposed to beat up, the boyfriend was like buff as hell. <laughs> so it was like, okay, cool, cool. But my original thought was these all these other TikToks are boring. I could do a better one. Okay. And so then I did that. It got viral. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me keep it up. And so after that, I was like, okay, Wait, I'm so funny. Is there an actual thing where it's like all these people around are not there? They're limiting how funny they truly are. And I could really get to that type of bag? Yeah, I think so in a way. Yeah. Okay, okay, you okay. Know, they would just limit themselves to the sound or whatever. I was like, no. Nah. You can do more than that. Mm-hmm. Plus, I didn't have a lot to lose. So I was like, fucking let that, me just. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Did Jim Shark ever send you anything? No, or they were just they were just lying to us. They was lying, bro. <laughs> I was so excited, bro. I was like, "Jim, try get me up. Just try go post up." I said, "Ah." But you then, thought you're gonna be a model real quick? Yes, and said, "I'm not hearing it, bro." bro. I was working out. I was like, "This is my chance to actually become a big, you know, mm-hmm. fitness model, whatever, whatever." Mm-hmm. Never hit me up. Never posted my video. Mm-hmm. But the girl I used. Her friend sent her the video and she <laughs> laughed. So I was like, "All right, that's close enough." You know what? This is as good as what I get. Real yeah, quick, no, I feel exactly. that. I feel that. I feel that. So, how long have you really been going at this? Since you said ever since like 2020, was there a point where you just like, "This is just gonna drop off. I'm bored of this. This is not funny no more." Yeah, multiple okay. times. Multiple. When my first video got viral, bro, I got anxiety. I didn't want to post because you know it's like once you went big, how how can I even come next to yeah. you? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I was like, all right. So I didn't post for a freaking month, and then after that, I posted it again. Surprise, surprise, views dropped. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Then mm-hmm. I would grind back up again just to prove to myself, oh, I got it, I got it. I'm still this guy. I'm still this funny guy. Mm-hmm. And then boom, I would hit that viral point. And I would not, I wouldn't post again because I'd be too scared, whatever, whatever. Ah, okay, okay. Do you still find that same feeling right now? 
Yeah, I would get viral, and then sometimes the next video, it wouldn't pop off. So I'd start losing motivation and all that. I would burn out fast, too. Mm-hmm. But we're working to fix that, though. You know, okay, just course. limit my posting. Of course, of course. Stack up the drafts. And yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, wow. Mm. Excuse you. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But no, there's, a, there's an idea that I was thinking about recently when it does come to um, TikTok. Actually, we'll get to there before. But have you always been funny? I think I have. I think I have. I, in like a nerdy way or like how so? Because of like with most Nigerian men, I feel like it took a while for all of us to just collectively all glow up together mm-hmm. to the point where it's like at first we were relegated to like the funny, nerdy type of friend. But then it's like, yeah, no, I'm pretty now type of thing. Right. So do you yeah. feel like there's a dichotomy between the two? I think so. I think so. But for me, I hate to my own horn here. <laughs> but I was uh, I was actually funny since I was a uh, let's go back to fourth grade I think fourth mm-hmm. grade maybe second because my my elementary teacher he would always tell jokes and stuff like that and I would always be reading like newspaper you know how they have little jokes and stuff like that mm-hmm. so I remember those go to class say those jokes out loud and everyone would be laughing like ha 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 oh, you're so funny da, da, da. <laughs> and then what's it called oof blank the memory. But yeah, no, I, I would I would used to be funny. A lot of stuff too, I wouldn't find as funny. Like people would back in second grade, they would find this one joke hella funny. Like they'd be laughing, ha ha ha, oh he slipped and fell. I would never find that type okay. of stuff. Funny. Physical humor wasn't that thing for you? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I guess my humor was a little bit <laughs> You're smart in these Yeah, okay. yeah <laughs> I don't want to my own horror here. Yeah. Okay, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. My humor was a bit more advanced than that. Mm-hmm. So ever since then I would take that. And then boom, 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 make jokes, make jokes, make jokes. And then me and my brother, we was into a dark humor, so we tell each other dark okay. humor jokes a lot, back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, okay, let me censor some of this, you know, dark humor, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. bring it more into fruition, you know, mm-hmm. on my TikTok and stuff like that. And then boom, and then glow up happened. And then, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I feel like it, it hurts my soul because I, the only thing that I find funny is dark humor. I feel like dark humor is a yeah, lot funnier right? than every other thing. But no, that could just be me being a little crazy in the head. But no, what are some of your favorite TikToks you've ever made? Favorite. Like from the creative side or just like visual side? Okay, there's this one TikTok I made. Um, what's it called? I was... Yeah, it's a bit NSFW here, but it's like... It was one where... I had, it was like, I was vibing in the wrist car, and it was like a black buff dude. He was twerking, right? And then what? I filmed myself. It was like, oh, do you want black girls or white girls? I was like, I don't want white girls. I don't want black girls. And then I would walk towards, like, the the, the dude, dude throwing ass. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing was, the thing was, like, there was a reflection that would show it. So it wasn't like you would see the ass. It was like the reflection. So then you would just walk. I was just walking towards it. People were like, what the fuck is he walking towards to? But then if they looked in the reflection, they could tell I was walking towards the nigga shaking his ass. <laughs> so I was like, damn, that one took so long to do, bro. And I was so glad. A lot of these TikToks, too, they, they come in my mind. So I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, I know this is funny. I know it's going to pop off. And then when I actually hit it and then I do it and it actually pops off, I'm like, yeah. I'm that guy. You oh, just being able to execute? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So... It's not so much the design of it that's hard. It's just like just the execution. Of yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. I feel that. Mm. I feel that. I feel that. Oh, um, has anyone ever like? Do people reach out to you on TikTok? In the beginning, yeah. Okay. Like for what? Reach out to me for what? I mean, like we could do branding and stuff like that. But but do people with you and they shot inside the DMs with you? On TikTok? Yeah. No, nah, my, my shit's dry, bro. Ah. Dry. See, did you ever wish that you did more of like a thirst trappy thing? Yeah, but I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, bro. I, I seriously can't, bro. No. Mm. I remember when I was younger, I went and told myself, you know what, bro? Your boyfriend pretty. You're not like really <laughs> lustful. You're not that. So you're not yeah. like fine as hell, bro. You're not Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. You're just, you're just nice and handsome. Let's just cut it right Keep right there. there. <laughs> nothing more, nothing mm. less. Oh, God. But no, as you go on TikTok, I've noticed a thing where it's like conversations are inherently bad because of TikTok. Like you can't have a good conversation on TikTok for that exact reason where it's like it gets difficult to get a point across. Mm-hmm. Have you found out like as the more times you're like on TikTok and like watching different types of videos, do you feel like the discourse that's on TikTok particularly is worse than other like apps? 
Yeah, but like it's actually, any examples if you can. You actually helped me grow a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. don't want to get like too political here. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I remember there was this one moment, and this girl was like, "No, if, if he believes this, then you can't be friends with him. Whatever, whatever." I'm like, no, that's not true. You can still be friends with them, blah, blah, blah. But then she was, like, making some good-ass points here. Like, she was, <laughs> she was beating my ass for me. And so I was like, damn. So now I got out of TikTok a little bit, and I thought about them for, like, a whole damn hour, two hours. Mm-hmm. And it actually truly changed my mind. So, like, if you – it really depends on the person, you feel me? If you're okay. truly trying to change your mind and stuff like that, good. Sometimes other people just go on there just to debate and troll. Like, they're not even serious about it. <laughs> Trolling is a very dangerous thing. I know. Mm-hmm. One thing that I do know about trolling, you don't realize someone is trolling until it's too late and you're yeah. like starting to have a, oh, your head is starting to hurt yeah. trying to disguise if they're what they're trying to do. Yeah. And I realized that trolling really took effect because of, I have a couple friends in this one group chat where it's like, Everything he says, now I have to sit back and think he's not being serious. Right. <laughs> he's just not a serious individual. Right. And the thing is, it's like, and at what point are we supposed? What I'm, at what point muscles take what people say seriously anymore? Right. Like when I'm on social media, for example, on TikTok, talking about like the whole dating preferences oh, or nah, like yeah. 50-50 dates and things of that nature. Mm. It seems like they're being serious, but deep down, I feel like they're just trying to make like uh, what's that shit called? Like angry content, like yeah, content that's designed yeah, to make you like Grr. anger, and then you got typing at comments and shit, and then that just posts they. Gets their videos up and shit like that. I mm-hmm. feel, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like there's um if you're going to TikTok for a conversation, do you think that's smart? Uh because uh, of <laughs> I saw this other video of this girl was talking about it was like, Hey, all my friends, um, we go to the bar and none of us get hit on, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. and they're like, Hey, could you all explain why this happens? And then, so she gets like a thousand comments, right? And then she goes and makes a uh, follow-up video. And she's like, yeah, we're all going to die alone. <laughs> we're just all going to die alone. What? Because she was, so the thing was, the three points that she was making was, yeah. one, dudes are feeling like they're going to be too, like, um, aggressive and, like, too, like, uh, creepy for most girls. So they just, like, stopped shooting they shot. Mm-hmm. So there's that. There's a point where it's like, um, what's the other thing that she was talking about? Shoots. But basically, it's on the line of, I feel like, as a collective, we've gotten over going on dating apps. We all hate dating apps together. So now that we still want the mechanism of the dating app, but we don't want to go on dating apps to go and find that. I.e., like, being able to pick who we want to talk to and things of that nature. Being able to just be like, yeah, swipe left, get the fuck out of my face forever type of thing. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Speaking about Tinder dates. I was just on one recently that made me delete the app. Oh, wow. Terrible. What happened was, boom, boom, boom. It was, I was low-key kind of catfish, too, low-key. Ah. I hate saying that, but I low-key was. How couldn't you tell? I feel like it, you, there are some signs that lead up to the fact they don't look like what they look like. Well, yeah. No, like, because, like, what? She would, she, mm, I hate describing, you know, I hate doing, you know what I mean? But, like, <laughs> she had a big forehead, right? But, like, okay. all her photos, she would cut it off. She would cut it off. Boom, boom, boom. She never had a full, just straight bo- photo of her body, right? Mm-hmm. Her face, she was just mm, stretching neck out, ah. photo, all that stuff. So she was mm. doing this? Yes, <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. All the photos, at first I was like, nah, okay. And then I looked in the, in the, the her description, she said, oh, little chubby. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Uh-huh. Little uh-huh. chubby. You I can all get some meat, yeah, yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? And then boom, 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 I go pick her up. She, she kind of... She didn't, you know what I mean? She wasn't a little chubby, bro. <laughs> she was chubby a little bit. Okay, it's okay. It's all cool. I still love, I still love it either way. You know uh-huh, what I mean? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't come for me. Was the cover, <laughs> was the conversation at least enjoyable, or was it just boring? Anyway, either no, way. Oh, she cannot conversate. She did not give me no eye contact. The whole, I picked her up. Boom. She said nothing in the car. I said hi. She said hi. That's it. Nothing in the car. So I had to carry with, with a stranger? Oh, yeah, no. That's, 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 that's scary. scary. That's, that's scary. So I was like, what the hell? <laughs> so boom, boom, boom. She didn't even know I can't too. She just got in the car, head straight down. I'm like, okay, that's what it's going to be. Mm-hmm. I started trying to carry the conversation, just keep asking her questions back mm-hmm, and forth. She, mm-hmm. she ain't asking no questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. she ain't asking no questions back to me. And so I was like, okay, that's, that's a red flag right there. Mm-hmm. Boom, we head to the restaurant. I pay the food because I'm the man. You feel me? That's nah, how nah, that nah, do nah, it. Nah, nah, me though. 
give that misogyny to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. And then what's it called? Boom, boom, boom. We sit down. We start talking. Well, mm-hmm. I start talking. I'm trying to. <laughs> well, start the second late. Yeah, yeah. Uh, start the record straight. Mm-hmm. And then I, I keep trying to make her talk. Boom, boom, boom. She, yeah. And then boring conversation. Ask me no questions. This is the terrible part. As soon as I start heading back to drop her off, we start talking about like, what's your ideal type, all that stuff. Good relationship, all that stuff. Boom, boom, boom. She says, I ask her, so what do you look for in a relationship? She Ew. starts tearing up a little bit. She says, someone not manipulative. Someone who won't. Bro, she was in a relationship for three years, bro. Hey. Coming straight back to what, Tinder to start dating, bro. She starts tearing up in my car. Yeah, she can't be manipulative. You gotta be trusting, all this stuff. I was like, She's still scarred from the trauma and stuff like that, bro. Go back inside. You don't need this. I start speeding a little bit, bro. I'm trying to drop her back off home, bro. Drop Mm. her back off home. Mm -hmm. Deleted Tinder right then and there, bro. I'm not doing that no more. (laughs) See, Mm -hmm. I've I've learned that Tinder is is not a real thing, bro. Tinder is is not for people that look like regular human beings. Yes. So if you're not like a 12 out of 10, get off that app. No no lies. Mm -hmm. Especially, see... I don't know if I could like actually date folks off of dating apps because I feel like I was I'm coming in with the intention mm. with the intention that is not so much for dating mm, and yeah, I feel like I like mean, deep yeah. in my heart I'd rather like spontaneously like just like appear in someone's life that's always the way mm. that I'm I'm trying to do it yeah because of like with me I actively like do things in life like for example instead of like staying inside and studying I will go to a library. Or like a park and just like set up and just like stand and be inside the presence of other human beings Mm. because it's like when you do things like that you just open yourself up to a different life and then you just like accidentally start doing new things with completely new different people like if you go to the beach and there's just like people just playing volleyball and now look at you you're playing volleyball volleyball with 12 other niggas bro so it's 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 a blessing so would you say you're an extrovert Oh, uh, so at first I wasn't, but then I, I had to force it because I was like, force it. yeah, no, I learned introverts don't make no money. Oh, don't God. Get no bitches. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And they, and the world tries to disrespect you saying that you're oh, socially it's... anxious and weird. I'm not weird. Y'all yeah. are just doing too much. But that's, <laughs> that is, that is beyond the point. Do you feel like you go through that side or which side do you roll around? Um, boom, boom, boom. I was, uh. I'm not even like intro- I guess I'm an introvert, but like I'm not scared to talk to people for for whatever. Like, oh, mm-hmm. can you help me with this? Whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then boom, boom, boom. Got into college. I started being way more extrovert. You know. Okay. Took every chance advantage I got. Was it a super big school? Super small? Um, damn. I was gonna say my school, but I, uh, we, they don't sponsor me. Yeah. <laughs> I say it's a. I, I say it's a pretty big school. I guess. Yeah. Okay, okay. So there's a lot of opportunity out there, whatever. So I talk to everybody every chance I get. Okay. And usually these people hook me up with something like boom, boom, boom. There's mm-hmm. this one guy I met. He gave me this what this expensive crazy Ed Hardy hoodie, whatever, mm. for like twenty bucks. He was like, "Here, you can have it just because you're my friend." I told yeah. him one time, "I like your hoodie." And then he's like, here, you can have it. I was like, oh. <laughs> it don't hurt to talk to people. Like, talking mm-hmm. to people, literally, there's no negatives to that. Oh, God. So oh, I God. realized that. I was like, all right, bet. Oof. There's there's two ways I want to go off with this. But um, mm-hmm. first, first, um, do you feel like there's a social media you and then there's a you in real life? Or have they merged together yet? I, I, there's a social media me and a me in real life. Okay. I, okay. Had to, I had to. I would actually cringe a lot when people would come up to me and <laughs> say, Oh, I saw your TikTok. I like your TikTok. Because uh, a lot of these TikToks, I mean, when I was like a kid, me, younger me, all mm-hmm. that stuff. So I didn't, I didn't really expect, because a lot of times I see viewer, viewers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I just pure numbers a lot of the time. So they mm-hmm. sing and come on, be like, ah, ah, ah. I remember my employer, he said, mm-hmm. oh, I found your TikTok. I screamed in the mic, bro. Bro, 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 bro. I was bro, like, bro. Ah. I remember I had, a, I had an internship and then... <laughs> Um, so I was I was interning um, at the Capitol, right? Yeah. And then there was like a representative that was like, "Oh yeah, no, I've seen you on TikTok. You're a whole senator. What do you mean right? you see me on TikTok? What are we oh, talking dude, about? about seeing you on TikTok? Like, like, <laughs> how? Bro? And for me, it's usually like how? Look, how you see me? You don't look at my contents. Oh, <laughs> you're 97. What are we? What right? Are we and talking it just about? pops up for you. Like what? Oh God, bro. This oh. is so weird. So yeah, I really had to like. It and mm. tell myself mm. what you're posting the world will see yeah. if you like it or not the world yeah. will just see yeah. it it's a scary thing because yeah. it's like 
especially now that uh, TikTok is able to like tell you who's on your page, mm. and you're like, there's no way this person keeps coming back to watch my page. Right. Why are you stalking me? Like, right? That is it's weird. That is the same. Have you ever had a stalker? I mean, let me not say a stalker, mm. but like someone that's constantly like on your page. Mm, except for my friends, usually because okay. like it keeps on. Every time I post, it just goes straight to my friends for some reason. Mm-hmm. And like, I, ain't, I never had no real stock or whatever. Mm. Well, I don't think I have. I, mm. I wish so, bro, because <laughs> they keep coming back. I'm trying to get more views or whatever, bro. Oh, God. Um, oh, God. You never had no crazy ex that just was always... Or they would go through someone else's page to, like, look at your stuff? No, Or make, bro. like, a couple more fake pages and then look at your stuff? I've only had one girlfriend, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So, so like, they weren't looking at your personal accounts to go find your... your no. Your big account, you know? Okay, never My mind. My profile is so public, bro. <laughs> it's like... At this point, I'm not even trying to hide it no more, bro. Mm, I feel that. I feel that. Mm. You know what? Um, as you're talking about the whole fashion thing, uh, there's this post you had where it's, like, um, men just have, like, a lower bar to have, like, a... Nice outfit, yeah. right? What do you mean by that? Like, if you put on, okay, so the basic, the basic fit for a man, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, a blank Amazon, bl- blank T, right? Any color, it could be black, gray, whatever, whatever. And then some nice shorts. This is a uniform, bro. It's like for 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 a white woman, right? <laughs> for white women going to bars, this is a uniform. They wear the little black crop black top, top, blue pants, blue pants. Air Force Ones. Sometimes if they want to do fancy, they got the black cargos with the Air Force Ones. <laughs> Like, there's a certain uniform. So if you literally just break out of that little, oh, everyone's wearing this, just break out of it a little bit, you're a fashion motherfucker now. You're like, <laughs> it's, it's so Wear a band tee and you're Literally, one of them. <laughs> bro, it's like the standard is hella low compared oh to a woman, bro. You just got to literally put anything else on. <laughs> it's, it's so nice. Because once I learned about that. I remember one of my, one of my homegirls, she was like, if you look homeless, at least look intentionally homeless as if right. that's your style. And yeah. we promise you, that's hard now. Yep. And then I really start to think, the guys that can't get no hoes, you're not being serious in life. <laughs> you're right. just being unserious. <laughs> because I feel like you literally, all you need to do is look clean. If literally. you look clean, just get clean, haircuts, bro. smell nice, you'll be locked in. Mm. But no, I've always hated when like my friends would be like, "Oh yeah, no, I'm trying to like elevate my style," or they want to like try and dress up and stuff of that nature. Because right. it's like, bro, this is your image that you're showing to the world. Right. Be serious, and if you're gonna like at least try something, that's what I'm mm-hmm. always telling people. Because it's like, even if you don't want to like be the whole fashion dude, wear the whole car hard pants or whatever the fuck, right? Right. You could just say, "All right, black tea." Flannel, some jeans. I'm right. Coolio. Just and be like, clean, bro. And then you're smooth. Get you some panda dunks, and I promise you those will flock, bro. Just, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, there's, 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 that's the thing too. Like the way you dress too also attracts the, the type, type of, of person. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Ooh, when you change your hair, who are the type of people that come to you now that your hair is braided? Who are the people that come versus when you had waves okay, or fro okay. or a smino type of haircut? When I had the fro. Man, I think that was a lot of people, a lot of, that, that caught a lot of white people's eyes a little bit, you know, because they want to touch it. They want to touch it. Do my actually be trying to touch more people's hair? Not for me no more. I oh, told them shut up. No, I also, I also look a little bit, um. You just look mean. Yeah. <laughs> like mean. Yeah. So nobody really comes up to me. Mm-hmm. I remember one thing I love people t- uh, tell me about is like, oh, when I first saw you, I thought you were intimidating me and or being like a dickhead or shit like that. <laughs> I always love hearing that shit because like, oh. why? Because then, because like I'm literally the complete opposite of what they always think I am. You mm-hmm, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think I'm mean. I think I'm boo boo boo. And then I start talking to them. Uh, oh wow, you actually be nice. Oh, mm. you actually be funny and stuff like that. But yeah, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that when you have like a fro, do the yeah. type of people that approach you are different? When your hair is in corns, do they different? Mm. I think I don't think there's no for real. I keep my I keep my circle small for real. Mm-hmm. But I think when I had a twist, a lot of I was a bit more intimidating at that time. <laughs> of course, you he know. just looked black. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> and then cornrows, I just started rocking them now. But like, I've been getting a lot of clean looks, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like instead of people coming up to me, it's more like how people talk to me, how people react to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What does that mean? Like when, when I was wearing cornrows, like right now, I feel like a little celebrity. Everyone was like hella nice to me, whatever. Mm-hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Had locks. People were a bit more being a bit more avoidant, you know, mm-hmm. all that stuff. A bit more intimidated by me. And then my little afro thing. 
No, the only people I was I was kind of judged actually. My mm. I had a Swahili teacher. She would judge me. She'd be like, "Yo, you need to get your hair done. You need to get your hair done." And I got it. Then I got it done. <laughs> when was it a fro? Yeah. When ah, was it a fro? Okay, yeah. I feel that. No, I feel like ever since I was from a young age, I've always been like hyper vigilant on the image that I try to like curate and produce out, and the way I want people to like um, perceive perceive me when I'm walking around and about. And I've noticed when I had waves, actually, when I was bald, I felt Ooh. the most people treating me the most powerful. That was really? that when I was bald headed. Yeah, no, motherfuckers would like move out of the way. They would be Whoa. like, yeah, there was, it was weird. They were intimidated? Not even so much intimidated, but like, you must be someone important to, right. to shave your head type of thing. Yeah, I feel you. And I want to have this type of conversation where it's like, I feel like more men need to embrace being bald. Mm. It's not a sign of you being old or ugly or things of that nature. Just go bald. Everyone needs to go bald. So you recommend people to go bald? Yes. Oh. Except for if you have like genuine, genuine hair. Mm. <laughs> you have genuine, if you have genuine hair, yeah, no, bro. Keep your stuff. It is powerful. It is nice. But if you're like still struggling to grow that two inches of yeah, fucking, that's, yeah. let it go, bro. Or just get waves. Just, I feel just like get waves. that and then people who don't take care of their hair at all, <laughs> just shave it all. Yeah, uh, just literally <laughs> just shave being it unserious. all, bro. Like, do you have wash? Like, can you explain a wash day to the people that don't know? Uh, so a wash day basically untwist my hair. Boom, you date black women, don't you? Right. Yeah. That's what yeah. I like to hear. But continue. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I actually, I actually been expanding a little bit, uh -huh. you know, but we'll get into that later mm -hmm. in a little bit. What's it called? Boom, boom, boom. Untwist my hair, and then, or well, I get shampoo, shampoo mm -hmm. my hair twice, get rid of the dandruff, and then conditioner. I what I usually do, I put a shower cap over my head, let it mm -hmm. marinate, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I they wash forget it about out. that part. The yes, marination, bro, mm -hmm. marinate it, bro. It needs to be <laughs> so you can soak up all that moisture, all that stuff. And then, boom, you wash it out. I've been doing wash days since I was um, freshman year of high school, actually. Okay. Been taking care of my hair like it's it, like it was a plant, bro. Ah. You know, so it's, it's really, it's really, my hair is self-love, all that stuff, bro. Like, I, where'd you, where'd I'm you like, learn it? What, to do my Like, hair? yeah. Was your mom, like, really into that, or? Mm-mm. She hated it. She hated it. That's it. See? Yeah. Okay, so when it comes to hair and stuff like that, seeing being that we're both African, mm -hmm. um, I found that black Americans take care of their hair, like, so much more, and they, like, they genuinely have, like, steps to it. Oh, yeah. And I feel like it's real interesting how much goes into trying to maintain, especially, like, a black woman's hair, especially when you have, like, a ton of hair, yeah. so it doesn't, like, dry out and things of that nature when it's, like, a 4C type of thing. Low-key, on that same note, because of, like, what I have kids, I want to have at least two, three girls. My whole thing is, I want a big-ass family, but that's a whole other conversation. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to do my kids' hair type of thing. Right. And I don't want it, I don't want to relegate my kids to having a certain type of haircuts because I'm incompetent. Mm -hmm. That's insane. That is, that is just an insane thing to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like. Well, first of all, are you? Would you ever do monogamy since you want a big family, bro? Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. Monogamy is the one person, right? No. I'm, wait. So Polyamory what, is the oh, okay. poly is multiple. Poly, poly is multiple. So would you ever do poly? I mean, so because I don't think I don't know no girl that would be down for four or five kids <laughs> now nowadays <laughs> nowadays, bro. Y'all to go back to the homeland. Ah, uh, you know, that's that's very fair. That's very fair. Personally, personally, I want like five of them, five of them five jobs, kids, run, 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 run. five wives. No, no, no. I, I don't. I don't. I can't have the multiple wives things. Because okay. in my soul, of, my soul of heart, I feel, I feel like I'll stop caring. <laughs> yeah, stop caring. Like, like, what yeah. are you doing, bro? It's yeah, just the numbers no. at that point. Like, exactly. You know what? We'll get to that point, and then we'll spin back to the kids thing. Because yeah. like, I feel like when it does come to a lot of dudes, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I'm trying to fuck, da, 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 do all this type of thing." I find that's just so immature. Because right. it's like there's so much to do in a day. Mm -hmm. Just like when you're trying to like create something or go to the real business world right. where it's like you're working nine to five. And then if you're really trying to get the bag, you're working nine to nine type right. of thing. And then you get off, you're doing your own little thing. How are you going to take care of the person that you want to be with? And then others. <laughs> yeah, no, bro. <laughs> just not enough time. Yeah, just, like, I don't get people, oh, I just be fucking, I just be fucking all day. No, bro, get some money. <laughs> Literally, I remember one time, bro, there was this one bar from uh, this one uh, Afrobeat song, bro. Mm -hmm. It was just like. 
can't be happy unless you get money or something like that. It was, it, it was a bit more romantic <laughs> than that. But, like, basically, and ever since then, like, he's right, low key. I've never seen a relationship that was just, they just no money in the relationship and they're just truly, right. truly happy. Mm, except, like, crack is. <laughs> you know I mean? That's like, the love you all. <laughs> yeah, bro. Them's, them's, that's true love for oh, them. Oh, God, bro. Because it's like, if at, we need to at least be building up to something because yeah. we need to be serious. Bro. Literally, bro. I'm trying to build my wealth. Bro. Yeah, bro. Because uh-uh. one of my whole things is mm-hmm. I feel like poverty will really ruin a child's life. Yes. It will just ruin it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I want my kids to be like, you know what? I want to play hockey. And I want to be like, that's not some black shit, bro. Hey, lock in. Not some I can't afford it. Right. That's, that's the type of thing. I, I want, want to that. I want to have the decision to mm. tell you to no. Just go just sit over there. Right. Not because that I can't, but I just don't want it to happen type I of like thing. That. I like that. Yeah. <sighs> but no. Um would so you couldn't do the poly the whole poly thing either? Two years ago, if you asked me this question, I would say yes. This nigga was deep in the manosphere, I, weren't I, you? Yeah, yeah. Got me. <laughs> you, got me. you caught me. You caught me. You caught me. You caught me, bro. You caught me, bro. You caught me. Oh my god, bro. Oh my. That's how they get you. Cause what? <laughs> the idea is so lit. Right? Yeah. And then boom, boom, boom. It was right after I uh, broke up with my ex too, right? Mm-hmm. That's what they catch a lot of people. Mm-hmm. That's what they when catch you're in your people. deep and downest yeah, periods, you say, like, you know what? I will make money. I will work out. <laughs> I will do all this stuff. Oh. <laughs> And then boo boo boo. Love me. Some dude told me, yeah, you're in a bubble, dude. I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and then boo boo boo. No, nah, I would never do that poly stuff, bro. No. Mm-hmm, I, would, mm-hmm. I would love my one wife mm-hmm. and my kids, too. I'm yeah. going for like two, three kids. Two, two, three, two, three. Two, three. Spaced out. Like the first one, wait like 10 years. And then the 10 year old going to be taking care of the, the rest kids. of them? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? That's how. That's. You lazy parent, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> do, do whatever. Hey, cook, I am, man. Hey, uh, fucking cook, bro. Mm-hmm. But no, on on the kids type of thing, I want my kids when I'm like super young, so I have like enough strength. See, my whole thing, I'm 22 right now. Right. In three years, I need to hurry up. <laughs> I need to hurry up. 25, just, you want kids, bro? But say that age and tell me that's not a, that's just not serious. Uh, is that just not a serious? You're a 25 year old. That's not serious, bro. That's not serious. That's not serious. Uh, no, I feel it. I feel it. I say 28 is minimum. And what's the difference between that? And that's uh, three years and six. I feel like you get way more money, way more. That's true. Stuff. No, no, yeah. it, was, it was definitely. It was no, definitely. I have my old boss. He was like 26. He was mm-hmm. just getting married. And mm-hmm. Like he he had a pretty darn good career. Like he oh, was okay. ready to bounce out all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's like okay, I see 26, 28. I think that's perfect. Mm. Perfect. Because my whole thing is, I feel like if I don't start planning it out, mm. I'll close my eyes and open it, and I'll be thirty two, right. and I'll just look around. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just be looking. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Nah, as soon as you get a roll, you gotta take it. Yeah. What's the what's the what's it called the minimum? age that you need to have kids minimum age to have kids yeah. i mean i feel like there's no like minimum age to have kids but mm-hmm. i feel like i need to be strong enough to still hoop my kids when they want to start playing high school basketball mm. we need to be able to still be able to run fives and go to the park and I do shit like I that i would have loved that i would have loved that with my dad yeah because of because of it's like it's not even saying that i like missed out with my, my parents and shit like that because mm. they were literally fresh the first generation right. that's so i'm not too too mad on that but it's like I want to be like, hey, yo, no, no, no. Your footwork is wrong, and this is why. Yes, Let me show you bro. why. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, bro. No. Oh. And I want my kids to be like, yeah, no, that's my dad. He's still mm-hmm. young. He's still like, uh, right. type of thing. Because it's like, it's not that I feel like a lot of kids don't respect their parents, but I mm-hmm. feel like a big part of the disrespect is rooted in the right in there. Yeah. Like the fact that they, they know that she's like, yeah, I know you're old. And yeah. I feel like there's some disrespect that is rooted there to begin with. So yeah, no, mm-hmm. if I had money already, I'd have two kids now. That's facts. I but, but I know having kids is expensive. Like yeah. I was talking, bro, I was talking about older brother about this shit, bro. Mm. Cause if he just had a, he just had a kid and I'm like, bro, how much are diapers? He said, don't even think about it. Oh. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need it. He needs four diapers per day. Because <laughs> he's like, what? You go to the bathroom? How many times do you go to the bathroom a day? Two, four, three, three, four? Yeah. 
So in a baby, a baby, so you have to get a new t- You just need a new one. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't afford that, bro. So yeah, I nah. Afford that, bro. <laughs> I think I think how much how much uh, a K a year do you think you need for having a kid? Just one, just one. I'm pretty sure a child costs like five thousand, ten thousand per month. Right, depending on the hospital insurance. Five, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's getting the birth too. The birth is expensive. So oh, like, oh, I'm not even talking about like the birth and paying yeah. the hospital because they they are some crooks, right? Like <laughs> when I when I didn't know that like they actually would charge so much until I seen a TikTok like some person charging like more than ten k. I think someone almost a hundred k. Ten bands to have a child that I made. Right? <laughs> like give me my kid, bro. All the labor was screaming, bleeding, <laughs> bursting, and I gotta pay that. Right? Did you that it? Like what are we talking? Why, about? Like, what are we talking like, about? I never understood that. Oh god, oh god. But yeah, no. I'm talking about like daycare and the yeah. food and then like the being able to take time off work so you can take care of your kid, right. feeding them, things of that nature. So yeah, no, kids are really expensive. Right. But <coughs> let's turn the corner. What does being how would you describe being Nigerian as like an experience? Um, it's pretty cool, especially how popular it's gone to be mm-hmm. Nigerian now. I feel mm-hmm. like a little celebrity every time. Mm-hmm. But oh my god, Ugo, tell me about yourself. I would first say, <laughs> Oh, I'm Nigerian, mm-hmm. all that stuff with a big grin on my face, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, back then though, it was like it was it was cool. It was all right, like I am Nigerian. But like huh. now it's like, oh, I'm cool. I was just in Nigeria too, like a mm-hmm. year ago. No, not even, like a few months ago. Mm-hmm. Got back into my roots, felt good as hell, came back. How was it different? What do you mean? Like being being back home. Being back home, you get to be first hand experience. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You see why I'm, you see why Nigerians are great. You know, mm-hmm. what I mean? they're very <laughs> smart. They're very smart, bro. I mean, we are a pompous people. That yes, is something. <laughs> my dad be sending me every. My dad is the most national Nigerian man mm-hmm. ever, bro. Like he he be praising like, oh, you're Nigerian. You're supposed to be do this, did this. Every time he he showed me a video, be like. Look at this video. Look how they're praising Nigerian food. Look at their oh, it'd be like white people eating jollof rice, and we're like, wow. The white people be like, oh wow, this is really good. <laughs> it's that. And like, look, oh, at, look at look at look how they <laughs> love our food so much. All that stuff. I'm like, yeah, I see it, bro. No, I feel yeah. that. Uh when I, being Nigerian is is an experience. Mm. It is it is a social experiment because mm. it's like I feel like. The whole world wants you to succeed, yeah. Especially recently, like we're we're saying, as like the music gets popular, the food gets popular, things of that nature. But I feel like there's an ingrained confidence that comes among all Nigerians, yeah. Because like even in the Nigerian community that we have here, right? If you talk to any of the dads, and like if you talk to them about like when they were in like our age, mm-hmm. they're all bad guys. <laughs> they're uh, all just bad guys. Hey. <laughs> it's to the point where it's like. Not so much being hyper confident, but it's kind of like having the the feeling of everything is going to be all right because of I want it to, right. to be all right, and it's and I could see that yeah. in all of the youngins that is that it's that's came in our own time. Mm. So yeah, that's something that I've, I've really recognized. Do you find people fetishizing you now that you are here? I feel more. I, I felt more fetishized. Uh, Back at my old university, that's when mm-hmm. I truly felt fetish. Cause boom, 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 you go, you know, grew up. <laughs> Where'd you go? We like to dox. We like to um, throw fire at at bad schools. We're gonna go. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna say. We're gonna say Iowa. We're gonna mm-hmm. say Iowa. Mm-hmm. Of I course, say of which course. Iowa? But it was in Iowa. You were in Iowa. Yeah. Why would Why would you do that, man? I want something different, bro, bro, bro. We man. need to stop doing this to our black people, bro. I need something different, bro. If you're gonna be in the Midwest, it's mm-hmm. Chicago or it's Minneapolis. Right? Be serious? No, oh. no. Because the thing was, because the thing was, boom, boom, boom. I want to be different so bad. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's my problem. That's really my problem. <laughs> I always want to be different so bad. Mm-hmm. My, my, my sister, my brother, they loved Harry Potter. Never read it just because they loved it. I wanted to be different <laughs> since I was a kid, bro. So my sister, she went to North Dakota. That mm-hmm. was one option. I said, all right, I'm not going to North Dakota. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My cousins, they went to Wisconsin. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay. They've been to Wisconsin. I'm not going to Wisconsin. Just an educated-ass family. Right. God damn. <laughs> but continue, though. Continue. And then, what's it called? Everyone, everyone in Minnesota, they're going to Minnesota, of course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want to be different. Iowa, no one's going to Iowa. <laughs> 
Nobody and is. You didn't think there's a reason for no, right. not, not going to Iowa, but you don't continue. Okay. As soon as as soon as I well, registered and like got inside it, I was like, okay, cool, I'm going to Iowa. And I started thinking, what the what what the fuck's in Iowa? <laughs> I started thinking like, what the hell is in Iowa? Like, what's going on there? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Everyone talking about, oh, it's cornfields. It smells like uh, uh, cow poop all the time. Like, it's not gonna be a good time. Mm-hmm. So I start getting scared. I'm like, oh, oh. I start traveling. I'm thinking there's gonna be KKK members up there, all that stuff. <laughs> I'm getting spooked. And then boom, boom, boom. I head down there. I'm actually having a pretty nice time, believe mm-hmm, it or not. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's when I started getting scared of being fetishized because, you know, you a black guy. And mm-hmm. All these white women, bro, you know, they <laughs> you know what they want. Like, you know you know what they want. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm like, boom. I didn't, I, I didn't mess with white women the whole time there mm-hmm. at all because I just didn't want to get fetishized. That's mm-hmm. weird. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? There's a fear that does come with that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, especially if you really want a girlfriend, a cool <laughs> thing too, like, people say you shouldn't be trying to find love on a college campus. Where else am I going to find my love? Right? Like, what is, shut up, bro. Exactly, <laughs> like, I'm going to be looking, bro. My whole thing is I paid $40,000, I better find right? my wife, I better find my life. Like Exactly, <laughs> bro, I need my whole starter pack done, bro, by the end of that. <laughs> so, boom, boom, boom. And then, yeah, after that, I just didn't mess with no wife, because I just don't want to be, for, that's weird, bro. I'm not mm. like, oh... Cause they want you to fit every stereotype, especially mm-hmm. when you're not that stereotype. They're like, "Oh, they feel mm-hmm. so stupid, shit like that." Like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. just don't like, it. never like the idea. <laughs> Real quick, mm-hmm. is that why you hate mainstream music? No, a little. What? Well, well, because I want to be different. I want to say just trying to be different, but it's like you find what everyone else likes as boring. No, because, like, I, I generally just found it boring, generally. Because mm-hmm. I got, because literally when I went to, back in high school, I would just listen to Rap Caviar. Mm-hmm. You know, for the real Spotify users, you already know, that's that's where you find that all hip-hop shit album. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I was listening to Lil Baby once. I was listening to Lil Baby's new album. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. First track, I right, sick. Listen to the second track, okay. Same beat, same BPM, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Then the third one kind of sounds the you, same. You get to the fourth track and you're just like this. Like, yeah, bro, just, yeah, I'm frustrated, bro. I'm like, this is what I'm listening to, and I can't, I can never keep up with uh, rap lyrics. I'm gonna be mm-hmm. honest, bro. Like, people be keeping up. Oh no, oh, you hear that one bar he said? I'm like, what? He said something crazy. Like, I can never keep up with that. Mm-hmm. So boom, boom, boom. Spotify. You know how they do? You have Spotify or Apple? No, yeah, Spotify. Cool. I judge people a lot if they use Spotify. Mm-hmm. Apple. Because what's it called Apple? I you feel just, like Apple. You're just shit. trying to be cool. That's, that's yeah, what that is, bro. It's yeah. all just oh look look at my stuff, bro. I got kind of you know what I mean. But it's like what's it called? It's hard to find new music on yeah, Apple. Yeah, it's hard to find. Yeah, exactly. But with Spotify, as soon as you're done with an album, they'll play like some random things you might like. You yeah, might like exactly. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. you start expanding to that, and then when Smino he dropped his new album, mm, that's like what it's really hard. Right? It, it changed. So it hard, changed bro. my whole thing on music, <laughs> bro. I accidentally started listening to Smino for women, and I said, <laughs> you know what? I do like Smino. Yeah, I, I do enjoy his stuff, bro. bro. I've been listening to him since what, a, like a long time ago, but mm-hmm. I didn't know it was him. Did you see um, what's that one purple album? Um, Pierre? he's getting his his hair his hair done. Who? Uh, so, oh, you know, um, it just went like platinum or some shit like that. Uh, so hey, shout out to or something like that. I think that was one song, but yeah, Black Swan, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, song, yep, yep. I think. But yeah, ever since then, and then boom, music just kept going out, out, outwards, mm-hmm. outwards, outwards, and now I got no limit, man. I, mm-hmm. I, I was just listening to this one French Spanish song. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't, I don't know French or Spanish, but it's, like, <laughs> it's good yeah, though. It's, it's good. <laughs> Have you at least tried like traveling to like other countries besides uh, Nigeria? I want to. Mm. It's the goal. Okay, okay. Amsterdam. Uh-huh. That's number one on my list. Okay, okay. Budapest is for myself. Yeah, Budapest. No, yeah, it's Budapest. Oh my god, bro. I've never heard someone say Budapest before. Uh, it's the, really? That's like one of like the the bigger party spots. No, what's the demographic in Budapest? What do you mean demographic? Like, like the Asian Chinese? Because I only know Budapest Hotel. Like I don't know. I didn't know Budapest was actually. Am I thinking of a different place? <laughs> Is it? It's, it's, I'm thinking Europeans. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Budapest. It sounds like it'll be. I don't want to be no stereotype here. Like Indian. I think. Is it? Budapest. Budapest. I'm not good at geography, bro. Yeah, no, nah, me neither. Yeah. No, because <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard like the the party scene is like so insane, and since everything is legal, you can like. 
get help type of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, if you're like tripping really bad, you're like, hey, yo, bro, just just come over oh, here. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, oh, I think no. I've heard about that in some country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if motherfuckers are ODing, they're like, hey, bro, you'll be fine. And like, they'll just hit him with like a uh, dark or some random like, shit like that. Casual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, all right, so get up. <laughs> so, in so, Amsterdam, yeah, the, what's mm. it called? They got everything is legal there too. Like they mm-hmm. sell it out of cafes. Mm. So that's my goal. I'm gonna go there. Boom, boom, boom. Cafe mm-hmm. and the place is so beautiful. I got into architecture. One of the best investments. Why did you get ever. into architecture? Like just like like I love architecture now. Like I just be looking at it like damn that's the the dimensions shit. of it or like, yeah, like what it means or what dimensions how it's built what it means. I'm going to museums a lot too lately. Oh, okay. bro. Like bro, I just I love it. <laughs> One of the best investments though is a uh, fucking iPhone 14 Pro Max. Mm-hmm. That's the best investment because I be seeing shit like. That's pretty. It looks pretty in my eyes. And you take a photo of it and it makes it look even more pretty. Like, it mm. captures your eye. So, a lot of times I'll be taking, but my phone is filled with like 6,000 photos of just straight buildings. Bro. Oh, wow. Straight buildings, straight flowers. Just so, what river. is it about like buildings and architecture that is calling you there? I, I guess, like, because you wonder, like, I guess, because it's like you're looking like, you wonder, like, how did they build, like, how did they build, why did they build it this way? Stuff like that, like the so history. history, history plays a big yeah, part about history, it. Yeah, oh, okay. like the history behind it. Some places just look so darn good. You're wondering, like, how did they plan it? Like, there are mm-hmm. some neighborhoods that look so perfect that you could literally see them, like, like you could see it on a table as a map. Like, oh, we're gonna put the Dunkin' Donuts here, few apartments. Oh, here, yeah, yeah. Architect, like, like looking at that, like, wow, that's sick. Stuff like that. I've been enjoying life a lot. Oh, I've been enjoying like the small man, stuff in life. Man, you know man. I mean? I don't like that. <laughs> I be telling people that like doing things that women like will just change your life. Mm. Doing things like that will just change right. your life, bro. Oh my god! One of the best thing I've ever done was stop listening to women. <laughs> right? <laughs> best uh, best thing. Oh, uh, let's see. I, okay. I've ever done because women be telling me, "Oh, stop wearing that." Stop. I I I would have these like oh, orange cargo shorts. Your your women, women friends like. They try to pull you away from the feminine and like things of that nature. No, like some women, like they want me to like so like I could be more attracted, attractive to them. They mm-hmm. want me to do certain stuff like oh, wear your hair out like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, stop wearing these type of shorts. Hoes don't like those type of shorts. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But once you stop doing things for the hoes, mm-hmm. you start doing things for yourself. Enjoy mm-hmm. being alone. Life is so much pleasant, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember, nah, I remember how this 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 came to fruition for me. I was at a party one time, a club, right? I was trying to get grinded on one time, right? Mm-hmm. The whole time I was just trying to get grinded on for two hours, three hours straight. They get grinded on. I was like, what the hell am I doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I was really like, what the hell? Three am I hours doing, trying to catch bro? ass is insane. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's insane. So, so then I started, I started, okay, let me actually enjoy the music. Let me mm-hmm. actually enjoy the party scene, whatever. Mm-hmm. Best time I ever had. And now you're just not one of the creepy niggas that's, yeah, that's just trying to slide bro. behind every girl, bro. Don't be one of those people, bro. <laughs> Don't, bro. That's weird. Oh, my uh, God. See, man, I love when people, like, hit epiphanies like that. Yes, bro. <laughs> just stop oh. scaring the hoes, bro. And then you start trying to preach that to everyone else, bro. Yo, bro, don't go to clubs looking for this and this. Just enjoy yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh. The enjoyment will bring the women, bro. I yes. promise you it will. Yes, bro. Mm, 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 mm. That's funny because I kind of had the opposite experience. Mm. Whereas, like, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to slowly stop hanging around dudes and men just constantly, right? right. I need more women around me. Yes, <laughs> just bro. need more women around me because this big is difference. It's, it's, big it's difference. getting weird, bro. Because, like, women put me on games, like, how sure. to clean under my nails type of thing. Yeah. And, and just, like, little things that dudes just don't be picking up, don't picking up on. No. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe you should start. <laughs> just, right. just start, bro. They have good tips, bro. Mm-hmm. Get hygienic. I'm, I've been hella hygienic now, mm-hmm. bro. I've been every weekend, ever since I got my own crib mm-hmm. i've always cleaned on the weekends clean on the weekends is the best shit ever bro. <laughs> i'm telling you it's therapy put on some good music just start cleaning bro you fucking hoochie mama uh-uh. <laughs> Yo, it's the best thing though wow thing that's though. slutty oh my god cleaning is good bro cleaning is sick as hell bro i like cleaning i like cooking i like learning how to do your own hair too best shit like how to cut your own hair Literally saved me what? Let's let's say like one twenty a I, month. I damn near can't get another haircut. I can't. I bro. can't go, bro. I can't go to get another haircut, bro. Why? Because all my people, bro, 
forty dollar, <laughs> forty five dollar. Right. right. <laughs> the oh. last, bro, the last time I had a haircut was for my graduation, bro. <laughs> mm. So what become your how you how you cut your hair? Nigga, I get I either let this bitch grow for a bit or I just like get a clippers and just just cut right. it down. And then I asked one of my homie, hey, hey, line it up, bro. Quick. Just, oh, yeah, just, just, just do something slight, like, bro. Just just line it up. What's it called? I would just boom, boom, boom. When I had my locks out, right? Mm -hmm. I would just do fades because like if it, if it turned out ugly, like who who would know? Like oh, God. Would cover it, you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. So boom, 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 I practice and then bada bada boom. I just always become my hair now. Mm, no, I feel that. I feel that. And mm -hmm. my whole thing is when I try and look quote unquote homeless, it takes a lot of months for me to start looking actually yeah, homeless too. Because it's like my I have nice skin yep. and like I'm able I have like nice eyebrows and stuff like that. So right. it just looks like I'm letting my stuff grow and I'm just trying to get an afro. Yeah. That's just what it looks like. So I think yes. it takes me two months, three months mm. for me to be like, okay, yeah, I, I, I really gotta like do something. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Representation mm -hmm. truly do matter. What was some of your biggest scaring the hoes moments? Scaring the hoes moments. Because mm -hmm. oh. I, I think as all men, I think as we grow in ourselves, we realize in our past we might have been scaring the hoes. Oh, I remember one time. <sighs> Fuck. This is back in high school, right? <laughs> this is like, I, like freshman year, right? Like I'm talking about. This is two months into the semester, my mm -hmm. first year, right? Mm -hmm. This is one girl. I'm not gonna say her name. Mm -hmm. It's not like I can remember. I do remember, but <laughs> what's it called? She was like, "Okay, cool, cool, cool." I'm. I watched the video, mm -hmm. right? This is don't be watching videos for no advice. Mm -hmm. I was watching the video, and like, what a girl was trying to like walk away. Like he was trying to flirt with him. It was like he was trying to walk away. But boom, he grabbed her hand. She was like, come back here. You know what I mean? And do and, and like thing is, she was like, okay, yeah, all right, mm -hmm, back, right? Mm -hmm. it's like, bet. So boom. Yeah, right. You're not a six four white man, not, bro. <laughs> not. You're not a six four white man with this golden retriever mm -hmm. hair, bro. But continue. So I was talking to this one so I was talking to this girl, boom, boom, boom. This one girl, we had like a back and forth thing, whatever. And then what? We was arguing a little bit, right? She tried to walk away. <laughs> come here, bitch. I said, <laughs> wait, nah, come here. She screamed, don't touch me! <laughs> bro, the embarrassment. I went to the corner of the room, bro, just sat down on my phone, bro. She ain't talking to me. Literally, She's bro. not talking to me, bro. Everyone stared, when she said that, everyone stared. The people, Ooh, turn around. It was so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Ever since then, bro, I don't, I don't, I never do the first move, ever. I never do the first move. I'm not the type. And the thing is, they tell you, do the first move. You should be more. No, I'm not doing that, bro. I let God come to me, bro. No, right? don't do this. Oh. Fuck. Mm. On the last thing, do you feel like people should still be having celebrity crushes at our age? No, bro. Be realistic. <laughs> be re be serious. Like mm. that's just a waste of your brain power, bro. Mm -hmm. Focus on like real life people. You know mm. what I mean? See, I was of the opinion where I was like, oh, celebrity crushes, they're cool, they're fun. And then as I got older, I started meeting a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And then I started meeting women that, like, no celebrities. Cool. <laughs> that no celebrities. And I really had to sit down and think, all right, let's let's cut it yeah. here now. Mm -hmm. I remember I was talking to this one girl. And she was constantly going to Timberwolves games. Mm -hmm. Like, the whole season. She got a season pass? You think she paid the, the couple no. bands to get a season right, pass? Probably not, bro. And one day, uh, she was like doing doing some shit, right? I'm yeah. chilling, I'm chilling, editing, whatever, fuck, right? And she face up and she's like, "Hey, yo, hey, look at this person, look at who I'm with." Da -da -da -da. Whole NBA player, <laughs> just a whole NBA player. And I just had to look at my phone, look at her, I look at the phone. I was like, "Yeah, bro," because one thing I would do is compete with a six seven. No! Bro, I'm not doing it, bro. You don't compete with celebrities, bro. <laughs> Never, ever, ever. That have real money? No, 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 no. no, no. I can't. I once, they, can't. once, once, bro, once they are celebrity size, bro, just move. Once they are celebrity people, just move, bro. Mm. Oh my god! Mm. And and the thing that blows me is that like, in every season. There is a lot of celebrities, right? There's a lot right. of celebrities in this world, and they're going to be shooting their shot at whoever. They There's want a lot to of celebrities it. when you think about, like, no, you're especially right. with the advent of TikTok and stuff of yeah. that nature. And I know how easy it is for people to fan mm. because I know at what at what level of celebrity it takes for me to fan, mm. and I know my level is higher than a lot of other people's level. So imagine if, like, little old, let's say Anthony Edwards goes and walks through the walks through oh, at, at a party. God. And I'm just cooked. You're done. Just you're cooked. done. You're you're literally going home alone tonight, bro. Like it's guaranteed, bro, bro. You know what? This is the last story before, before we cut it off, bro. I remember I was at um this one um 
bar club, whatever the fuck, right? Mm. And it was after um, it was like a track meet football game just got done. Seasons, it was a football game. Season is over. They were like celebrating the Olympians, right? So there's a couple Olympians that come out on the middle of the football field, celebrate, ha ha ha. We all go off. It's a nighttime. Go to clubs. Go to parties. Things of that nature. And I'm at the bar. I'm chilling. Da, da, da. I'm with a couple of friends. Right. In comes <laughs> just an entourage of other tall ass niggas. And you just see all over the room. Everyone just goes and looks. What? <laughs> just, just looks. And my whole thing, I'm like, bro, this is a weak bar. This bar is why, weak. Why are they here? <laughs> like, what is why going are they on? here? And I literally, I saw this girl go and grab a drink and say, here. To the guy, no take way. a picture of us. <laughs> take a picture. <laughs> and then after, I don't know what happened, but he goes and buys a drink and brings it back. To him! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they going to him. Oh. Bro, oh. I think the girl was like, hey, yeah. come buy us a drink. <laughs> buy, buy. Oh, you should buy us a drink. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then he actually bought them a drink. I'll die before I buy an NBA player a drink. Mm-hmm. But why, like, cause like they rich game. Why are you doing that? <laughs> bro, being an NBA player is a cheap bro. When I be thinking about that stuff, I low key began heated a little bit, bro. Cause they like is like When will it be my turn? <laughs> Imagine bro, you trying to like it's been a bad night, boom, boom, boom. You trying to get yours done, whatever. <laughs> NBA player walk in, bro. Your night is ruined. Just a 6'5", nigga. Why? Right? Not even if they're in the league. Not even Just a 6'5". You see a 6'5", dude walk in, bro. You already think it's success. Bro. Uh, uh, but, yeah, no. It's a it's a funny life. But, well, we, we've reached the segments of which I had a sensei where my guest goes and gives some advice that they wish that they had while they're growing up. Some advice for them now and some advice for them in the future. Okay. Some advice I would say is... Never, never shut up, man. Always be confident. Don't let nobody tell you to shut up. Don't let nobody tell you what is or what not. You know you're the best. Just always know that. Know that you're the best. If, you, if you're confident about your ideas, don't let nobody shut it down. Mm-hmm. If you think you could do better, then you can actually do better. Don't, don't, go, don't go around with life thinking, damn, I really could have done better. Because once I start thinking, I could do better, so let me do better. Life just took over, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's my advice, I say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. And we out. We out. Peace.